AgroFog AF35 Thermal Fog Generator Operation Preparing the unit for use Push fog tube over the resonator Push the protective guard to the end of the cooling jacket and secure it to the cooling jacket Align the holes with the screw neck, allowing the fog solution socket to be fastened After securing the fog solution socket by hand, join the solution dosage nozzle to the solution tube by connecting it with the hollow screw Solution line ring piece should always be used in between two copper gaskets. It is necessary to hold a second spanner against the fog solution socket while tightening the dosage nozzle. Note For water based applications, use the 0.8 or 1.0 dosage nozzle. For oil based application, you can use any dosage nozzle. Different dosage nozzle will affect the flow rate. The higher nozzle size, the higher the flow rate. The default recommended nozzle suitable for both oil and water application is 1.0 dosage nozzle. Here are the specifications for different dosage nozzles. 0.8, output of 10 litres per hour. 1.0, output of 15 litres per hour. 1.2, output of 20 litres per hour. The output, which is litres per hour, will differ depending on the different chemical and physical properties of the formulations. It is strongly advised that you do your metering of the output under prevailing conditions. This mainly refers to tropical climate countries. Remove the battery cover and insert new batteries. Do note that the positive pole should always face the petrol tank and the negative pole facing the battery cover. Press the lid down and push slotted side over the lower wing screw. Tighten the upper wing screw, then follow by the lower wing screw. Check ignition coil by pressing start button. A buzzing sound will mean that the ignition coil is in good working condition. Fill patrol tank with normal grade patrol without any additives. Always use a patrol funnel with filter. After filling, tighten patrol cap firmly by hand. Fill the solution tank. Always use solution funnel with filter. Important notice, do not interchange the patrol and the solution filter funnels. Always ensure that the tank cap is securely tightened. The solution tap should be closed with its lever pointing upwards. Starting the engine. Firstly, Pull patrol stop button upwards. Press the starter button and keep it depressed. Actuate the air pump. When explosions are audible, actuate air pump further by another one to two strokes. The engine sound should be regular and even. Note, the air pump creates pressure for the patrol supply. The lower the amount of patrol in the tank, the more pump strokes will be required. Therefore, always start the unit with at least three-quarter tank full whenever possible. It is recommended to warm up the unit for about one to two minutes. During the warm-up process, always keep the solution tap in closed position. Start fogging. Start fogging by turning the solution tap half turn counterclockwise. Ventilate the unit by turning the solution tap quarter turn clockwise before moving on to another location nearby. When fogging, the temperature is kept close to ambient. Hence, it reduces the burning of active ingredients unnecessarily. When the unit is ventilating, the temperature will be kept around 200 to 300 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the unit will be kept cool and ready to fog at the next location nearby. This eliminates chances of overheating. Stopping the unit Close solution tap by quarter turn clockwise to clear off or ventilate any excess left in the solution pipe. Wait till no fog is visible. Then close solution tap completely. Press patrol stop button until no combustions are audible. Release pressure from solution tank by turning tank cap 
to the left.